Welcome back guys and welcome back to my Roma career mode that I uh, started before I went away and now I'm uh, joining back up with Roma and I'm hopefully going to get, well I am going to get through Hellas Verona and Juventus in today's episode and then I'll leave it to deadline day just in case you want me to make any transfers. Uh, so I'm going to play the Verona game off camera and the Juventus game on camera and I do po apologise in advance, I am quite rusty at the moment because I haven't played FIFA in a week. So I might not be as good as I would have been before I went away, but hopefully I can get a good result against Hellas Verona and hopefully get a good result against Juventus as well. The game has finished and before you see the full time score, I'm just going to run, a few, run through with the goals. Uh, so first of all, Mohamed Salah scored in the 11th minute with this goal. Jovino played it through to Salah. Salah scores 1-0. Then Pisano uh, scores 4 minutes afterwards with this. Rudiger was unlucky to get like get there in time and it went oh, just over the line. 1-1. Then Chris Doppelopoulos scores again from this. So they've scored from two uh, headers, pretty much. Uh, and then the next goal came from Luca Toni. So it was 3-1 to Hellas Verona at this time. The corner whipped in. They just headed it and then it no, Luca Tony just got the deflection on, making it 3 2. Half time, I was 3 1 down. I bring um, Totti for Dzeko, because as you can see, they got a yellow card and he weren't playing that well. So then Pjanic goes ahead and does this, makes it 3 2 in the 52nd minute. And then, last but not least, in the 83rd minute. I was on all out attack, pushing for an equaliser and then we find the gap, Mohamed Salah scores his second of the game, second goal of the season and he personally has been my man of the match from that game and yes it finished 3-3 so that was quite a goal fest, 3-3 and man of the match I believe went to Mohamed, no, went to the striker, Eon. Nita, don't know how you pronounce those letters, so I'm just going to call him Inonita. Uh, so yeah, we had three shots on target, and three shots with three shots on target, so we had 100% shot accuracy. So now I'm going to pause the recording, sort my team out, and then get into the game against Juventus. So I'm changing my team up quite a bit in a 4-3-3 formation. Still Costil, Acore, Digne, Castan, Michael, Michael, my back. Four and then Strootman, Nine Golden, and Cater in my centre midfield. And then I'll show you my team afterwards. But this is the Juventus team Morata, Mandzukic, Pereira, Marquisio, Kadira, Pogba, Sandro, Barzagli, Keely, Dean, Lichtensteiner, and Buffon in goal. And I do apologise, but I didn't catch my team in time. Uh, it is Costil, Digne, Corey Castan, Mycom, De Rossi, Strootman, Nongolan, then Salah, Totti, and Origi. So, a couple of uh, debuts for some of my players, Origi and Okore. Uh, so, yeah, let's see how the, get the team plays and hopefully get a good result against Juventus. Let's get into it. I have conceded Sammy Kadira with the goal. I've been playing quite decently. I just got given a free kick and I scuffed it a bit. But it is an amazing strike from Sammy Kadira. Just inside, outside the D. Just outside the D. Costi always beaten. I mean, I need to work on my defending. I've conceded four goals in two games. It's not good. But hopefully I can come back and hopefully I can rescue something like I did in the Hellas Verona game. 
So it's half time and I'm going into the break 1-0 down. I'm changing my formation. I'm going I'm still sticking with 4-3-3 defensive, but I've pushed Nigolan and Florenzi more upfield. Uh as you can see, I'm making some subs. It's the 70th minute. Uh Javinho, Sanabria and Florenzi are all coming on, and you're probably wondering why my right back Florenzi is playing centre mid because he can play centre mid so and I also played him against Verona at centre mid and he played quite well so hopefully he can make an impact and uh, help us get a goal back and get something from this game I was pushing forward trying to get myself a goal back it's not focusing well but I was on all out attack, so and then they just cross it in. Goalkeeper's nowhere to be seen. I don't know how much you can see, but you can see Pereira uh, headed to, heading it into an open net, and I think I may have lost this game 2-0. Don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. 2-0, and it's pretty much the end of the game. So yeah, the game has finished. Finished 2-0. Uh, man of the match in that game, I don't think it'll go to any Roma player. No, but it goes to Gianluigi Buffon. Uh, obviously, he put in an amazing performance. And, kept, well, he obviously did. He kept us out. We had six shots, five on target. And Juventus were just Juventus. And it's going to be a hard challenge to win the Serie A. But at the moment. We are 16th, with one point. Now at the top of the table is Inter Milan, then Milan, oh, then Juventus, Napoli and Verona. Uh, Fiorentina, Genoa, Atalanta, Lazio, Torino, Hellas, Verona. Udinese, Sampdoria, Sassuolo, Palermo, Roma, Bologna, Empoli, Capri and Frosione. Who we are playing next in the next episode. I'll be playing against 20th place Frosione. Hopefully I can get my first win of the season. Uh, I really need to get this first win. Which will give me some confidence. Going into the rest of the league, uh, rest of the season. So in my next episode I will be playing. I'll be doing the transfer deadline day. I'll show you how much money I've got for that. I haven't got a lot. But I've got Frosione. I'll be playing P Sporting and Sassuolo All in the next episode. So look forward to that. Uh, and we, at the moment, I can adjust that to about, if I do 50-50 for the moment, 2 million with 40,000 a week. I can't really buy like a first team player. Maybe if you're thinking about a substitute or like a future first team player, let me know in the comments down below. That's my team if you want to pause it. So you can uh, see who I've got and who you think I could sell, could swap for someone. Uh, so yeah, that's my team. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And if you have, please leave a like and do subscribe so you do not miss out on any future content that will be on this channel. And until my next video, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.